this is Aya from Eon Software. This is going to be a short demo showing a feature in Plant Factory that allows you to send a part of your plant into ZBrush, add intricate details using ZBrush tools, and then send it back to Plant Factory. You can make edits in ZBrush throughout the process, and the mesh will update with your changes. This is a demo image created by Dave DeCareff, a view in Plant Factory artist. Thank you, Dave, for your generous collaboration. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about how this works. So we're going to start off in Plant Factory. I'm going to select the trunk in touch up mode, and then I right click, and then at the very bottom you can see the send to ZBrush option. So I click on that, and then it opens up in ZBrush. So I'm going to add some minimal strokes just to show you how it works. So let's make some lines, and then I'm going to just test it. So if you look on the top right, there's a button called Go Z. I'm going to click on that and it will update in Plant Factory. So let's go back to Plant Factory and check it out. Okay, cool. So as you can see, it worked perfectly. You can change the shape of the trunk in Plant Factory using procedural modeling tools, and it will keep the edits you made in ZBrush. So for example, let me curve the trunk a little bit and send it to ZBrush. Although I added polygon detail in ZBrush, I can still modify the geometry in Plant Factory. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see, the trunk is curved. So now let's add a little bit more details. This is not going to be as good as Dave, so don't get too excited. So ZBrush allows you to edit geometry by displacing or sculpting it. You can also change the subdivision of the mesh if you want to. Okay, so there you go. This is an example of how to use ZBrush and Plant Factory as a team in order to add smaller details to your plant. So thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.